What's up guys, it's your girl Nisi Raisha and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be a quick holiday glam and in this look is very simple. I think I use maybe four colors total and gloss my lips. So if you want to know how to get this look, please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, babes. All right, guys, so I already did my brows and I primed my eyes for my eyeshadow. And today we're just doing a real neutral, um, what should I call it? A neutral <laughs> holiday glam, I guess I should say, because it is for the holidays. So um, Christmas is coming up. Um, this will be posted before Christmas. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is out the Friday before Christmas. So you got Friday before Christmas and Christmas Eve to figure out, you know, um, if this is a look you want to do. So, yeah, let's get to it. So I am using the Warrior 2 by Juvia's Place. Um, and I am using the colors, I think I'm using this whole palette, but I'm using the colors Yodit, Kufuru, Wazana, Kana, and Zaz. Those are the colors that I'm using out of here. If I can find a picture of this palette open, I will show you all what all of those colors look like. But we're just going to start with our crease with Yodit and Kufuru. And I'm just mixing those two together. Okay, so now I'm going to take my concealer, and this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 410. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess, and we're going to go in and kind of cut my crease. Not really, because it's really not a true cut crease. It's just kind of a cut crease. And I'm just going to bring that all the way over on both sides. Okay, so now I'm going to take my one size translucent powder and go in and set what I just put on my eye. Well, let me tell y'all what brushes I've been using, Lord Jesus, because it be me. So, um, when I put that first color on, I used the Morphe M456 brush um, to add my um, one size primer. I used the Morphe M173 brush. Now I'm going to go in with... trying to think which one of these brushes I want to use. I think I'm going to use the Morphe M506 brush to do my colors. And I, like I said, I'm using Kana and Zaz. And they're just like nudes. Like, they're not like colors colors if that makes sense and I'm learning when I'm adding in colors that I'm liking to use my fluffier brushes 
to do that it seems like the color picks up better when I do that and now that I have that color on I'm going to go in with um, the Morphe M16 brush and I'm going to add in Zaz, which is the white color and it's just going to go right in my crease and this one I am patting in instead of um, using a fluffy brush. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Morphe M514 brush and take the color Walzana. And this is just like a really dark brown. And we're going to pretty much blend it into everything else. To create like a smoky effect and now I'm gonna go back with my M456 brush and the colors Yodi and Kufuru and I'm just going to try to like Soften it up just a little bit on the outer part of the darkness. I did a little too much on this side. Okay, now, y'all, I can't find my eyeliner, so I'm going to take this black lipstick. It's a um, NYX lipstick, and I'm using the NYX Professional um, brush number 11. Because the eyeliner is not, like, cut crease or anything, it's literally just the line, so, yeah. I'm going to just use the eyeliner to do that. I mean the lipstick. All right, so now I am going to go ahead and put my mascara on. This is the Bad Gal Bane Mascara um, by Benefit Brow. And it is waterproof, which caused me some issues later. But you know, I really like this mascara. And I don't like for my mascara to run, so waterproof it is. trying to think do I want to go ahead and put my lash on all right so I am using this uh, lash by Genia it is the DD 11 lash I got a whole like whole little pack of them um I don't recall them looking like this <laughs> on the 
on the website, but I guess this is what I ordered. They're just like really, really, like really, really curly. And I just, I don't, I guess I, I don't know y'all. I don't recall it looking like this. I guess that's my whole point is that this looks way different than what I remember ordering and I'm about out of this um, glue. I must say, I really do like this duo glue. This is the Active Duo, and it has like the little brush on it, but baby, it, um, it be stuck, okay? It has everything stuck all the time. Y'all, I don't know if I like this. Do I like this lash with it? It's real curly. That's that's my issue. Is that it's like curled like right up back up to my leg. I think the only reason it's bothering me is because I'm so used to my lashes being fluffier, maybe. I don't know, cause this one's not as... I guess we'll see. I mean, they don't look bad. This one do look like it's a little, like it needs to be brushed. This one is actually sitting all right. So once this dries, and it's acting like it don't wanna do that. Once that dry, I'ma brush it out, and we are gonna see. But now to the face, because I don't have that much more time. Um, primer is one size secure the blur and I'm just going to yeah my hands are clean hence why I'm touching my face do not touch your face with dirty hands y'all it's disgusting okay now I'm going in with my Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation by Fenty Beauty. <laughs> All the names for her products are super long. Um, this is the ELF Ultimate Blending Brush. All right, now we're gonna go back in with our concealer and it's the same one we used earlier.
Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and set all these places. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with my Morphe. Um, this is the Morphe Leader Glam Bronze Palette in the color Leader. And I'm going to contour my nose. And I'm also going to do my cheekbones. Alright. And for my cheeks, I am going to take some of that setting powder and go underneath where I just bronzed. And now we're going to take a powder brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's very, very old. I can't even tell you um, the name of it. So we just going to dust. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my blush and I'm going to use the Saharan Blush um, Palette, the volume one. And I'm going to use the color Neo, which is just this pretty like burgundy-ish red color. I don't know. I guess it's more on the red side than burgundy. And I am going to take that across my nose. All right, now we're going to set our face with our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And we're going to go in with this um, loose highlight by Juvia's Place as well. And it is the Royalty One. And I'm just gonna take that across my nose and the top of my lip. It's all you need. And now I'm gonna take the Warrior Palette again and the color Zaz because it does go um, around the bottom of the eye. So just gonna take that in like that so it hits all areas.
All right. So I'm going to get dressed and I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. All right, guys. So um, for outfit, I just have on this Lucky Label long sleeve jumpsuit. I put on this D like jewel chain from Amazon. Child, fake it till you make it. I got these um, studs from Dillard's. Um, I have on my Jimmy Choo I Want You because it smells so freaking good. And for my lips, I am doing a brow pencil and a gloss because this look is so simple. Like, you don't want to do too much. So, no. Okay, and again, this gloss is from the hair store. Y'all know I don't, I'm not, I don't buy expensive lip glosses. Um, I used to. Yeah, when I used to, um. <laughs> When I used to try to keep up with the girlies, I used to buy like matte lip glosses and I really have not done that in ages. Even though, even though, MAC has some good lip gloss y'all. They lip gloss is, <laughs> it's that girl for real. But um, as you can see, we just rocking a pony and y'all that's it for this look um thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel because if you don't subscribe you just you gonna miss everything i mean we do a lot over here and i hope to see y'all in the next one stay chic babes